heard you were coming. What's your name, my brother? Cecil, Cecil Gay. Cecil Gay. That ain't funny. Well, I'm Carter Wilson. Uh, award season is still a few months away, but a late summer movie is already earning some serious buzz. It's Lee Daniels, the butler in it. Oscar winner Forrest Whitaker plays a butler who serves eight presidents over three decades. Your movie friend Aaron Dicer joins us. Aaron, uh, we're going to start tracking potential Oscar or Golden Globe movies hitting theaters in the coming months. I like that. The butler is one of them. So before you tell us about why it could earn some awards, tell us first a little bit about the movie itself. The butler is a based on a true story about this man who worked for several presidents. Presidents, and it's kind of a look into the African-American experience over the civil rights movement through the eyes of one family. It's a very powerful movie because of that, because the topic itself is so powerful, and to look into that is, is really engaging. And it has a lot of big names in it, including Certainly. Oprah. Uh, yeah. How does she do? She's and amazing. Is she gonna be oh, she, awarded with anything? She, very possibly. I would not be surprised to see her name. What's interesting about Oprah in this is she has her own brand. You know her from her talk show. You know who she is, and yet somehow you see her on the screen in this movie, and she's a different character. That's hard to pull off. You know, she has this big brand in front of her and yet somehow she falls right into this character and you believe it. It's cool. very believable performance which a high level of difficulty to do with somebody like that. Right and I love the uh, premise of it there so is the big names in it is that like distracting at all because you're seeing all these different stars. Yes, it, it is, especially in the case of the presidents. Uh, it's kind of like a big game of dress up. You know, Robin Williams will come in uh, and be one of the presidents, and then you'll see, uh, you know, Alan Rickman come in, who you're used to seeing in Harry Potter as Professor Snape, and now all of a sudden he's Ronald Reagan. And it's just, it's kind of uh, distracting, not just because they're big names, but also because they don't really pull it off that well. Yeah. Uh, and so that becomes, you know, I mean, John there Cusack as Nixon is horrible. They just put him in this big Nixon knows and it just mm -hmm. it doesn't work at all yeah huh so. it's still one I really want to see uh, give us your best thing worst thing final grade sure yeah uh, best thing about the butler is that message just seeing this experience and you know as as a white American it's something obviously that I don't know and I don't you know didn't live through but to see it and to feel it in that way I think is really powerful and very important for us to do uh, as far as the worst thing yeah I'd say fail to the chief uh, these presidents just are not done well and it's a really distracting part of the movie. All right, so overall? Overall, I'd say a B minus. All right. Yep. Not too shabby? No, right. no, it's, it's a good movie and it's worth seeing even if it's kind of falls apart in some places. All okay. right, movie number two. It's actually quite convenient to be under surveillance. What's that? Hmm, the crime of the We're century the plays out on the big screen. Closed circuit is out. Critics not giving it great reviews yet. Uh, tell us a little bit about what this one's about and your thoughts on it. Closed Circuit uh, takes place in the England court system and is kind of an interesting take on when politics goes too far, when government goes too far uh, in order to protect its own secrets. So it's kind of that, that thriller aspect to it and also kind of trying to figure out what's going on. And it stars uh, Eric Bana and Rebecca Hall who give great performances in this. And I know they were aiming for some, some kind of Oscar buzz on this. The problem with this movie is it's just too slow. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't get to where it's going quick enough and despite the, the politics of it being interesting and intellectually stimulating, there's just not enough action to really keep you engaged. And so the material, according to some of the critics, is not that great. Uh, it's basically built on like paranoia, yeah. Um, twist turns, is it going to be? And it's pretty complex, too. Like, you really have to pay attention, and that can get a little bit exhausting. I mean, I enjoy that. I like something that's intellectually stimulating like that. Uh, but at what some point. What about when your wife is like, Aaron, what's going on? What's <laughs> yeah, going on? Exactly. Did I miss you need a pause button, and you don't have one of those in the movie theater. So, yeah, that can become a little bit of an issue. All right, so a little tough to follow. Then. Yes, I think so. I do think it is a little confusing okay. to follow. Okay, that would drive Ethan nuts if we watched it together. <laughs> um, all right, so despite rough reviews, will it linger in the minds of of any Academy members? I don't think so. Maybe for the performances, especially Rebecca Hall. I think she's really, really good in this. And you could see some maybe awards consideration for some of these performances. But overall, I think this is one of those wannabes that's going to be forgotten come mm -hmm. awards time. Too bad for them. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So best thing, worst thing in final grade? I, I actually like this a little bit more than most. For the best thing about closed circuit, I would say it's those politics, kind of that that intrigue of how that works. Uh, as far as worst thing, the pacing, it's just too slow, hard to get into. Overall, uh, again, I liked it more than most. I'd say a B. Very good. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Aaron Dice, for joining us this morning. Your movie for in reviews at KY3.com.